Cooperation. <laughs> Cooperation. Co Around the world. Yes. According to yes. a Marxist reading okay. of no. capitalism? No, I think um, the 20th century. Whose interpretation of capitalism? Let me, let me, where? let me come, let me, let me just, let me just get a few ground rules laid here. Um, the 20th century was defined by a competition for resources. The first half of it was a, a very bloody competition. The second half of it was almost a competition that, that resulted in annihilation. The 21st century needs to be defined by putting away that competition, which is the very essence of capitalism, and redefining the way that we're going to go forward. And really? You don't think that we'll follow our human trajectory into violence and competition and death and destruction and, and, and uh, uh, combat? No, I don't. No. Why, why would why would we why, here here we're reverting back to question number one? But why would we change our traditional, habitual behavior for century for millennia, of fighting over resources? Because because it's because it's the only way to survive. Ah, and yet we might battle ourselves into 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 failure. Into Let's death. see. I won't be here. <laughs> you might be. And after capitalism, in Marxist theory, uh, capitalism and industrial in, in the industrial era mm -hmm. is. Is is uh, is communism? Is pure communism? Mm -hmm. And then, in fact, pure communism cannot exist without capitalism and industrialism having run a complete course. So, in fact, you are, as I have long suspected, a deep communist because you believe that the end of the capitalist system becomes this need to share, to share resources, and to stop competing against them, and to share them within the society. You see, I'm spinning my message. It's cooperation. <laughs> you just don't want to be affiliated with uh, the Russians, those darn Russians, those communists. I love oh my God. Russians. Which is, which is, I think, goes back to the political religious conversation, which is that even ide you know, political ideologies, once implemented, just like religious ideologies, once implemented and carried out in practice, end up distorted and, and, and uh -huh. manipulated by individuals who have certain political or, uh -huh. or social aspirations that are aside from that aside from that theory. When theory gets implemented, it never looks the way it looked in theory. So, so um, when I take a look at the true anti-globalization movement, and I remember saying to you quite some time ago, I think, I think globalization will come out of the anti-globalization movement. Because, because the way that they are seeing globalization as it's presently being implemented, it isn't globalization at all. It is once again a competition for resources, all of which go to the top go to the top of the I tree. Know, the, sharing of those resources. the anti globalization movement, which is made up of tens of millions of people who are trying to defend what they have, but in a spirit of cooperation with their with, with their neighbours. And it's a very grassroots kind of uh, uh, kind of opposition to mass corporatization of, uh, of, of the world. Mm -hmm. And and I, and I think I so think maybe that, that's where you see I, that maybe that is where that where that skid is happening where yeah. that transition is actually yeah. happening as you see the the uh, the globe the movement for a just global structure coming out of the anti globalization oh, right. movement a, as a as a, a path for Diminishing the power of the capitalist. And what, the and what is and what is very interesting? Yeah, what is very interesting is how the is how those corporate structures um, tend to view or want or, or want the rest of us to view the anti-globalization movement. Right. And if you look at fringe the, elements of society, fringe elements of society exactly, <laughs> which is exactly again. what we've been dealing those with the whole time. Guys, man. Yeah, exactly. When <laughs> you see watch. when when you see the anti-globalization movement. Depicted on the television news, right. it's a few anarchists in you know in, to in torn black clothes smashing McDonald's window. What they don't address is the, for example, the uh, the, the, the the rice farmers of India um, using legislation to prevent uh, to prevent agriculture corporations from patenting all the all the strains of Bashmati rice in order that they can control those markets and. And there it was, all these poor farmers who managed to get together and oppose, uh, oppose agribusiness. That is the end of capitalism. Dun, dun.